Good morning. Sing praise to our God, all you who fear God, both small and great. For now salvation and strength have come, and the power of his Christ. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Be with you all and with your spirit. As we enter into this sacred celebration, this Mass is being offered for Jerry Russell, Ron Vader, a special intention. We also remember in our prayers, Maria Pia Sarvati. Let us call to mind our sins and ask the Lord for part, peace, and you were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. God, who opened wide the gates of the heavenly kingdom, to those reborn of water and this Holy Spirit, pour out on your servants an increase of the grace you have bestowed, that having been purged of all sins, they may lack nothing that in your kindness you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Stephen stood before the council and replied to his accusers, you stiff-necked people, uncircumcised in heart and ears, you are forever opposing the Holy Spirit, just as your ancestors used to do. Which of the prophets did your ancestors not persecute? They killed those who foretold the coming of the righteous one. And now you have become his betrayers and murderers. You are the one that received the law as, as ordained by angels, and yet you have not kept it. When they heard these things, they became enraged and ground their teeth at Stephen. At Stephen. But filled with the Holy Spirit, he gazed into heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. Look, he said, I see the heavens opened and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. But they covered their ears and with a loud shout all rushed together against him. Then they dragged him out of the city and began to stone him. And the witnesses laid their coats at the feet of a young man named Saul. While they were stoning Stephen, he prayed, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. Then he knelt down and cried out in a loud voice, Lord, do not hold this sin against them. When he had said this, he died. And Saul approved of their killing him. That day, a severe persecution began against the church in Jerusalem, and all except the apostles were scattered throughout the countryside of Judah and Samaria. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response, in your hands, O Lord, I entrust my spirit. In your hands, O Lord, I entrust my spirit. Be a rock of refuge for me, a strong fortress to save me. You are indeed my rock and my fortress. For your name's sake, lead me and guide me. Into your hands, O oh Lord, I entrust my spirit. Into your hands I commit my spirit. You have redeemed me, O oh Lord, faithful God. I trust in the Lord. I will exalt and rejoice in your steadfast love. Into, Into your, your hands, hands, O Lord, Lord I, entrust I entrust my spirit. spirit. 
Let your face shine upon your servant. Save me in your steadfast love. In the shelter of your presence, you hide them from human plots. Into in your hands, hands, O Lord, Lord I, I trust my, trust my spirit. spirit. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory be to you, O Lord. After Jesus had fed the crowd from the five loaves, the people said to Jesus, What sign are you going to give us then, so that we may see it and believe you? What work are you performing? Our ancestors ate manna in the wilderness, as it is written, He gave them bread from heaven to eat. Then Jesus said to them, Very truly I tell you, it was not Moses who gave you the bread from heaven, but it is my Father who gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread, bread of God is that which comes, comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. They said to him, Sir, Give us this bread always. Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never be hungry, and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends, in Jesus Christ, after feeding of a large multitude of people by the multiplication of the laws, then people sought Jesus. Jesus knew their hearts, longed not for him, but for the bread giver. Jesus knew they were following not him, but the food provider. So Jesus sought to put the matters in the right perspective and teaches them about the real food that they should be searching for, they should be longing for. It is in this context that Jesus declares, I am, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me shall not hunger and he who believes in me shall not thirst. Jesus declares himself as the bread of life. The Greek word that is used here for bread is arthos, which means, which refers to food composed of flour mixed with water and baked. Also refers to food of any kind of food in general, as bread or food is essential for the physical life, Jesus, the real bread of life, is required for our spiritual life. Without the bread, physical life would perish. Without Jesus, the bread, our spiritual life also would perish. So in the Holy Eucharist, Jesus offers this bread of life for us to be our nourishment and strength, to be our sustenance and energy, to be our life and our precious gift from God. What is our disposition and attitude towards Jesus, the bread of life, in the Holy Eucharist? As Pope Benedict XVI says, In the sacrament of the altar, Lord meets us. Men and women created in God's image and likeness and become our companion along the way. In the sacrament, the Lord truly becomes food for us to satisfy our hunger for truth and freedom. 
Since only the truth can make us free, Christ becomes for us the food of truth. During this lockdown, we know we are unable to physically assess the sacrament of the Most Holy Eucharist. But we have to patiently grow in hope with a deeper and a renewed love for the Eucharist. We are invited to have an intense longing for him spiritually. We need to frequently receive the sacrament through an act of spiritual communion. My dear brothers and sisters, let us renew our love and commitment in receiving the bread of life, the real bread in our lives, more frequently, more devoutly and more passionately. Let us revive our affection and dedication to spend more time with this bread of life in the Blessed Sacrament and gain strength to atone for sins and to offer the world for its sanctification and healing. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Let us now present our prayers and petitions to God, our loving Father. We pray for the church, as Christ is the center, the head of the church, our Eucharistic Lord, and that we are united as his body, that we may always seek to be in communion with Christ and the will of the Father through the power of the Holy Spirit. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. We pray for a world hungering for true bread, the bread of justice, the bread of peace, the bread of life, that in this wilderness, this time of wilderness, that we may seek the true manna from heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for the sick and the suffering, those profoundly affected by this pandemic, but also those who are facing very, very serious illnesses. As we pause a moment to remember them in our prayers. We also pray for God's strength for those who care for them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for families, for educators, for our Catholic education system, that during this time we may seek to have the joy of the Lord in our hearts and in our minds, and that the Lord will lift our spirits. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for vocations to the religious life, the priesthood, and the missions. We also pray for the seminarians of our diocese, that God's Holy Spirit will pour out upon them as they have finished up their exams and move into a, a time of retreat, that the Lord will bless them abundantly. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the intentions being offered at this Mass, for Jerry Russell, Ron Vader, a special intention. We also remember the family of, and the soul of Maria Pia Sorbati and the family who grieved this loss. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And finally, for all the intentions that we hold dear to our hearts that the Lord knows. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Loving and gracious Father, in the fullness of time you sent your Son, Jesus, the bread of life, the manna from heaven. Feed us. Nourish us. Raise us up with him. Help us to also be that food for others so that they may know the love that you pour out in our hearts. Receive our prayers and grant our petitions according to your will. For we make them in Jesus' name, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, right. sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands. For the, for the praise, praise and the glory of his name, for our, our good and the good, good of all, all his holy church. church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church, and as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you and with, and your, with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them up, up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and, and just. Us. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to lodge you yet more gloriously. When Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, he never ceases to offer himself for ourselves, for us but defends us in and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. We, we proclaim, proclaim your, your death, death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, in the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking in the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our oh, Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, come thy will, will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we wait, the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, For the, kingdom the power, the, power, the glory, glory are yours, yours now, now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your, your spirit. spirit. Those at home are praying together, you can certainly offer to each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of the world. Of the world. Have, have mercy on us. On us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God you take, take away the sins of the world. world. Have, have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God you take, take away, away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter, enter under, under my roof, roof but only say, say the word, and my, and my soul, soul shall, shall be healed. healed. With longing in our hearts for a time when we can return back to the church for the celebration of Holy Eucharist, we're invited to a spiritual communion. And again, May this time in the wilderness increase our hunger and longing for the book.
Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you were pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory and of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go glorifying the Lord with our lives. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Thank you for joining us for this live stream mass, or if you're watching it at a later time, please know that we are praying with you and for you, and our hearts go out to the many people that are especially struggling in this time, that uh, you know that uh, we're, we're definitely with you uh, during this time. Also, if you'd like to join me, I... Uh, just feel that it's important that we ask God's mercy on the world and what a great prayer the divine mercy is for us. I invite you, if you wish, to join with me in this personal prayer. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement, in atonement for, for our sins, sins and those of the whole world. world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy, have mercy on, on us and on, on the whole world. world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do and thou, Prince, Prince of the Heavenly of the Host, host by, the by the power of God, God cast into hell Satan, Satan and all the evil spirits, spirits who prowl throughout, throughout, throughout the world, world and seeking, seeking the ruin of souls. Of souls. Amen. Amen. Once again, with encouragement to uh, contemplate the face of Jesus in our Eucharistic Lord, you're welcome to join us this evening at 6 o'clock until 7 o'clock for a time of adoration of the Blessed Sacrament. This will be, of course, live stream, and you're most welcome to uh, live stream it, especially on your computer. You can uh, put your prayers and your comments in the uh, comment area, and we will pray for your intentions then, so you can spread the, the news and uh, join us at that time. Again, thank you so much for joining us, and our, our hearts and our love go out to you. Please continue to pray for us, too. God bless you. And have a blessed day. Hopefully sometime we'll hear, and you too, Father. And you too, Father. <laughs>